everyone. How many times has this happened to you? You go to a function um, in your school, outside school, in your society that you live in. People come and say, wow, you look so smart. You've got a smart personality. Or they'll say, this girl looks so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Look at her personality. Or he looks so smart. He looks so handsome. She looks so pretty. She looks so beautiful. That's the personality that you have. Is it what personality means? Do you think how you look, your appearance, defines your personality? Welcome to this personality development section. In this entire section, we are going to see lots and lots of videos and we are going to learn what is personality, what forms your personality, can you change your personality, what are the theories of personality. Okay, this is one of the most interesting sections and I personally, I have done double MBA because I wanted to understand what personality is. Though I'm a marketing and finance person, I have taken up, I had taken up HR just to understand human psychology and behavior and this forms part of your psychology, your psychology, your behavior. So let's get into the details of what personality is and trust me, it's going to be really exciting when you come to know about yourself, okay? So let's just move on and see in this particular lesson, what are we going to learn? Now, I talked about this appearance and often people believe that personality mean, means how you look, how you carry yourself, all right? How well dressed you are, but how you look, how you carry yourself, how well dressed you are, doesn't define your personality. That defines your appearance. And there is, there is no similarity between personality and appearance. However, your traits of personality, that is what kind of person you are, can have some reflection on your appearance. We will look into that. But these two things are entirely different. So once you've understood what is personality and you hear people say that she has a smart personality, he has a smart personality, she is pretty, that's why her personality is good, he is handsome, that's why his personality is good, tell them my appearance has nothing to do with my personality. That doesn't define me. So now we are going to see what is personality. But before that, I'm going to ask you certain questions. Okay, the first question that I have for you is, do you, have you thought it in your mind, okay? How have I become the kind of person I am today? Whatever is your age, whichever class you study in, have you found out that if I am like this and like this, we will understand what is this like this, okay? If I am the way I am, where did I get this from? Where did I get this nature from? Where did I get this, these traits from, okay? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever come back to your, gone back to your parents or asked your teacher, do, do you think if I am like this, why am I like this? Have you ever found out? Have you ever tried to find out? Okay. So how have I become the kind of person I am today? So personality is persona, your person, your persona and how it defines you. Now your personality, the, pers the kind of person you are. Most of the time, or it's actually a debatable topic, but there have been lots and lots of research that has been done around personality. It's a subject which comes under psychology and people study this. Psychology, people study, okay? So, if it's a topic of study and a never-ending topic of study, I would say, because every time that a researcher or a psychologist studies about personality, a new found thing is, achieved okay they invent something new they find something new now your personality the kind of person you are in in simple terms what kind of a person i am the kind of a person you are comes through influences of your parents what kind of persons they are you will have certain traits of that you will also become closer to what kind of persons they are your peers at times so we will look into that, how does personality get formed, but th the definition of personality also involves the peer group influence, not only your home influence, that is your peer influence from your parents, but also from your peer groups. 
your temperament which means what kind of uh, thoughts and processes go in your head a moral compass your morals your beliefs your values what do you believe in what do you have faith in a strong sense of self and if you go back to or watch the videos on personality uh, development you will find that your your inner self that is why we say that you should talk to yourself the kind of conversation you have with yourself okay strong sense of self how do you feel about yourself also kind of defines who you are and sometimes critical life experiences these things um can make a lot of difference in the kind of person you are so influence from your parents from peers the kind of temperament you have the kind of values beliefs faiths you have the the way you feel about yourself your self okay how you feel about yourself what do you think about yourself all right the self imaging that you do for yourself and at times certain environment external environment which could be pleasant or unpleasant in totality defines your personality i mean influences your personality okay more often than less your personality would be similar to what your parents have so just take a moment and think if i am this kind of a person is my mother too or is my father too all right just take a moment and think about that and you will get lot of answers you will be able to define okay i am like this because dad is like this or mamma is like this okay because most of the traits that you get or the traits that you acquire all right comes through your parents comes through your family comes from your family next now let's understand first try to understand what actually is personality in detail then we will see how to develop it or mold it or change it how we develop as unique people everybody is unique you should not compare yourself with somebody else because each person has been born, uh, born or is born with certain traits which is not similar to the other person okay so every person is unique so how we develop ourselves as a unique person okay how much are we products of nature or nurture i'll define all these things for you how enduring are the influences of early experiences these actually define your personality all right what kind of person you are the unique things that you have the unique traits that you have then are you a product of nature or nurture all right nature means we will look into that of course so the traits that you have as a person have you are you born with those traits or those traits have been acquired by you all right and then the influence of early experiences matter a lot and that is why this program is designed for you it will be very difficult for me to change my personality type or the kind of person i am then for you because you are at an age or at a stage wherein you can make lot of changes because you are at a growing stage and we will look at all those life stages you are at a growing stage and given the right kind of inputs given the right kind of environment given the right kind of training you will be able to change certain traits that you have either acquired or are born with so the the early experiences that we get in our lives shape lot of our personality traits okay now i will define personality for you personality are the traits characteristics um that we have acquired or we have we are born with so these are the characteristics that we are born with or we acquire as we grow up that defines the personality that we have when i give you examples of different kind of personalities you will be able and we will look at your personality also so when we define these traits you will be able to understand what actually your personality is and what actually personality means in a nutshell it is the characteristics 
the characteristics that you have, the way you behave, the way you absorb things. It's all form, these all form your personality traits. Okay, I mean it defines person, your personality. Now, here in the here is the detail of personality. It involves knowledge, attitude, and these are all big terms, big words when it comes to human psychology and behavior. Knowledge, we know, okay. Attitude, attitude is how you behave, uh, how you take things, okay. Like you know, people say this is, he has a positive attitude, how you take things, okay. Do you take positively or react to situations, how you feel about a thing or a situation or a person, that is what your attitude is. Then skills. What kind of skills do you have? And then skills also are defined under two categories, hard skills, soft skills. All these personality, confidence, public speaking, then your attitude, behavior, all of these are soft skills, okay? Hard skills are, let's say your, your father is, um, is an engineer and uh, he, he's a, or he's an architect, okay? Or someone's father is, is, a, is a pilot, Okay, these are all hard skills, all right, but soft skills is when you try to change your personality, your behavior, your cognition level, that is what soft skill is. So, what are the skills you have? Relationships, what kind of relationships do you have with your family, with your friends, with your peers, with your classmates, with the, with the children that you play in the park, with your grandparents, so all of these also come under personality. And behavior. Behavior is how you behave. Okay, what is the kind of behavior you show that can be utilized in and outside the classroom. This involves thinking processes, managing emotions, values and relationships along with a range of life skills that assist young people, that is children like you, in coping with the challenges of everyday living. So why is it important for children like you is as I told you earlier also, it will be easier for us to bring about changes if need be, all right? So, and this entire process involves thinking processes, managing emotions, relationships, values, along with a range of life skills that you need to develop that assist people like you in coping with the challenges of everyday life. Your personality will help you cope with everyday challenges and every day you face certain challenges. You've got tasks to complete, you've got assignments to do, you've got things to learn, you've got uh, to, do, to help your mother or your father in some household chores. You will have to maintain you know, relationships with your, with your siblings. So every day there, is, there are so many things that you do. It could be challenging, it could be easy. But how are you prepared for your daily life challenges? So we will help you do that. And the kind of trait you have, the kind of personality you have, will help you in taking your everything at stride, every assignment, every task, every role that you have to play, you'll, you'll be able to do it nicely, okay? So your personality, in very simple terms, is the characteristics or qualities or set of skills you are born with or acquire. We want each child to live a better life and that is why personality development as a program is important for children like you because as I had told you that these are, there are certain life skills you need to develop at a very very early age. So we want you to be, uh, you, we want you to develop your uh, emotion, psychology, your, you, whether you are social or not. And all of these actually come under personality traits. When, you, when I tell you about the different traits of personality, you will come to know that, okay, if somebody is uh, friendly, if somebody is um, introvert, these are all types of personality or other traits of personality. So we want each child to become personally, emotionally, socially, and physically effective. Trust me, all of these, the traits of personality will kind of affect your social, emotional, physical, personal and psychological growth. That is why it's important for us to study. The reason why I'm, I'm continuously telling this to you is because you will feel that at school, 
why do I need to understand or study about personality development? It is because you are at a stage wherein you need to understand what kind of personality you have and what kind of changes we need to bring in together. And we want very happy children. We want happy children around, uh, around us. And it is we who can help you. That is where we are offering this personality development program to you. To become confident, independent, it's very important. Just take a moment and think if your parents, both your parents are working parents. Are you independent? Are you too dependent on them? Naturally, when your both, both your parents go out for work, you have some time for yourself wherein you're not monitored, you're not guided. You will have to do things on your own. That doesn't mean the children uh, whose both the parents are not working are, will not develop this. What I'm trying to say is only for this set of children who see their parents going out and working, both the parents, you tend to be a bit more, I would say, um, independent because there are many things you'll have to do on your own. Like when you come back home from school, you will have to, your mama must have kept the food ready or she must have kept it in the fridge. I've seen many mothers because I'm also a mother that they kept the, keep the entire platter in the fridge, cover it. All you have to do is open your uh, microwave and warm it up. That is all you do. And then uh, it's for children who are more than seven, eight years old and who can, who can live in the house by, by themselves or they have a support like grandparents who live with them. But then still, they tend to do certain things on their own, like warming the food at times, you know, cutting the salads or uh, taking the dog for a walk. So there are certain household chores and things that you do on your own. You're not dependent. There are children whose parents are there at home, still they're dependent. I'm not demeaning anyone or kind of elevating someone. All I'm trying to say is when you are... We want you to be independent in any circumstances, okay? That doesn't mean that you're always protected and then you will not be able to become independent. And we'll look at all those things. All I'm trying to say is through these programs, we would want you to be confident, emotionally very strong, independent, irrespective of what kind of scenario you have at home. We want you to be independent and responsible citizens. We want to make you responsible citizens and your personality will help us to, to kind of tune you to that level so that you become responsible citizens. Why is it necessary or important for you to become responsible citizens? We are born in different countries, right? We have some duty towards our nation. That doesn't mean that you will go and start, you know, you will join an army or an air force or navy or become a police officer or something like that. Your, the responsibility that you have as a citizen it, it's like, it, it's myriad of uh, responsibilities. You can do so many things. You can bring about little small changes by becoming a responsible citizen. What are the duties? In your school, you, you, you must be studying in moral science. What are the duties of a responsible citizen? Do not litter, okay? Respect your uh, national anthem, respect your national flag, all right? These are the small, small things that we expect from you as responsible citizens. If you see someone in trouble, help them. That's a social, that's being social. So all these things, do not talk bad about your country, do not disrespect your country. These are the things we say. There are many other things of becoming a responsible citizen. So we, through your personality, you can do these. That is why I'm continuously harping on this, that why, I, why is it a necessity for you to learn personality development as a program and apply it in your life so that you become confident, independent, socially strong, emotionally strong and a responsible citizen. Making informed and responsible choices, and this is very important. And when I take you through the different stages of life or different uh, personality types and traits, you will understand. I will literally walk you through your childhood from the time you were born to, to the age that you are in, adults or lesser than that, uh, young adults, sorry, or lesser than that if you're in your teens. I will literally walk you through the entire journey of your life. And you will see that there have been so many changes that have come up inside you. You have become what you are today because you have taken some actions. Your parents have helped you. Your teachers have helped you. All right. We want you to make informed decisions and choices. And this is very important, children, because if we are not able to make informed decisions and choices, you will not be able to perform well in your life. And all of these things, you will lose confidence. You will not be able to perform your duty as a, duty as a citizen when you grow up and you join a job. You will not be able to perform your job 
you will be emotionally broken you will not know how to talk to people you will not know how to help people you will not be social that it's it's for that reason we want you to make responsible choices not make choices that will harm you and in turn your family okay or the society at large and decisions throughout their life so that is what we want you to develop a sense of responsive uh, responsibility being emotionally mentally physically strong becoming independent and confident and that is the reason why i'm continuously saying that we need to know personality development as a as a lesson okay now let's move on and see what else i have in store for you and when i say the choices and um, if you look at the previous slide what i have said is throughout their life so you make choices you make decisions this is inclusive of your present needs and helping you in development towards adulthood since you're in school you're not adults yet and you will come across a stage wherein you will feel dejected you will feel you know, strong emotions you will feel as if the world is uh, you will become a rebel you will feel that the moment you reach your right after your teens i mean the moment you are 13 13 to 18 you will or 19 for that matter you feel that the whole world is you know trying to or uh, tutor you trying to master you trying to overpower you and then you will become a, a rebel so if you understand your personality of course teens teens is something that it's a huge topic and all of us have gone through our teens and we know what all chemical reactions happen inside us but if you understand personality your personality and how you have you have become what you are you will be able to at least take choiced decisions become independent that is all i want to tell you that doesn't mean that um, the the i will not call it problem but then there are certain traits characteristics of a teen you which you will have to go through come what may you will have to go through but at least you will have some understanding that okay this is not the way maybe i i should behave and i will not take more time on uh, teens and te- uh, how teens behave your parents will tell you how teens behave and what happens when you be- when you come into your teens and these are the very very crucial uh, days the teens of course other uh, stages are also very crucial but teens kind of form lot of make lot of changes inside your physical and mental uh, capabilities physical a lot mental it's associated that's why it's important that you understand and realize what kind of personality you have what all changes you need to make what all you need to do so on and so forth and this is a very important line there are people who generalize people and keep them in different buckets okay everybody is born unique everybody has unique skills talent everybody has everybody is special everybody is unique not everyone is same we are all unique in our ways and that is what our personality is everyone each one of us just look around and see your friends you will have certain traits which are similar but most of it are unique i mean you have something which the other person doesn't have i'm only talking about the characteristics here not materialistic things your character vis-a-vis your friend's character vis-a-vis your best friend's character hardly will all these characters match okay even if it matches there will be like variation in the percentage let's say um, i am very friendly my friend is also friendly but if you have to compare then i'm more friendlier than my friend so everybody is born unique and you cannot generalize people depending on literally putting them in buckets one trait would have more weightage than the other trait okay now you would be thinking that i'm talking a lot about traits types and all that i'm not getting uh, deep into it because there are section there are lessons devoted for traits and types this particular lesson was all about why do we need to understand personality development as a program in school second is how will it help you and third is just to form a premise that there are certain characters and traits you are born with or you acquire and you need to study about them because this is going to help you when you grow up in your growing years learning about these things is important for you which will help you in your future and please remember all of us are unique all of us are born with talents with skill sets and we need not generalize people on their personality and finally 
personality, once again I started with this premise, personality is not about how you look. Personality is all inside your mind. It's, it's all psychology. It's not how you look. It does matter. I mean a fraction of it is what appearance is. Be appearance comes because of personality traits. Okay, but your appearance doesn't define your personality. In the next lessons, we will take a deeper look into what are these traits, what are the types of personality and there are a lot of things that you will learn. Very exciting actually. So, I'm looking forward to meeting you on the other side. Thanks for watching.